Welcome to Shower Thinkings. Today's video is, can you survive a free fall from an airplane without a parachute? Imagine plummeting from an airplane at 30,000 feet without a parachute, a scenario that seems to promise certain death. Yet, while the odds are astronomically against you, history offers hair-raising accounts of individuals who have defied the impossible and live to tell the tale. Vesna Vulovich holds the Guinness World Record for surviving the highest fall without a parachute at an incredible 33,333 feet. On January 26, 1972, a bomb exploded on her Jat T Flight 367, causing the plane to break apart. Vesna, a flight attendant, was trapped by a food cart in the tail section, which miraculously landed on a snow-covered slope. Suffering a fractured skull, broken legs, and temporary paralysis from the waist down, Vesna's survival was attributed to the specific way in which the aircraft's fuselage impacted the terrain, providing an extraordinary cushion. Julianne Kupke's story is equally astounding. On Christmas Eve of 1971, the Lanza Flight 508 she was on was hit by lightning, causing it to disintegrate midair. Julianne free fell two miles strapped to her seat into the Peruvian rainforest. Bruised and battered but alive, she wandered the jungle for 11 days before being rescued. Astonishingly, her survival was aided by the dense foliage that broke her fall and the fact that she maintained consciousness throughout. Even with these miraculous cases, the physics are soul-crushing. A human body accelerating through the air reaches terminal velocity at around 120 miles per hour, where the forces acting on the body equalize, leading to a consistent deadly speed. At such velocity, hitting any surface, whether it's water, land, or even dense foliage, can be catastrophically fatal. The majority of falls from extreme altitudes do result in death, primarily due to internal injuries, severe trauma, and eventual lack of oxygen if no immediate help ensues. In theory, survival is barely plausible and various factors come into play. How you fall, the environment below, and importantly, your body position during descent. Researchers have pointed out that spreading your limbs can slow your fall slightly and might give you more control over where and how you land. Similarly, aiming for softer targets like swamps or snow, if you have the presence of mind, you provides a marginally better chance of survival compared to hitting concrete or rocky terrains. In 1944, an RAF bomber was shot down over Germany. Sergeant Nicholas Alkamadi, despite having no parachute, plummeted 18,000 feet. He fell through pine trees and thick snow, suffering only a twisted knee and a few cuts. The branches and snow significantly decelerated his fall, providing an unlikely lifeline. Another heart-pounding instance is Alan Magee, an American airman who fell 22,000 feet from his B-17 bomber after it was hit during a mission over France in 1943. Alan blacked out during the fall but unbelievably crashed through the glass ceiling of a train station, which somewhat cushioned his fall, and he survived with severe but non-life-threatening injuries. These cases are not blueprints for survival, but rather anomalies that defy the cold, hard laws of physics and probability. Medical professionals and physicists alike caution against deriving any false sense of security from these stories, the human anatomy is simply not designed to withstand such extreme forces. The connective tissues, bones, and internal organs are prone to massive trauma, inevitably leading to death in most such instances. The margin of error is next to non-existent. Freefall from significant height usually robs individuals of their consciousness due to the immediate overwhelming physiological stress. The speed, combined with the lack of oxygen at high altitudes, can cause a blackout, leaving the falling person entirely at the mercy of physics and fate. Nonetheless, exploring the boundaries of human survival under such dire circumstances serves as a gripping reminder of the unpredictable nature of life and death. From chance alignments of terrain and wreckage to the rarest strokes of luck altering anatomy's fate, tales of those who defy death's clutch captivate our imagination. Miraculous survivals of freefall scenarios challenge our understanding and underscore the minuscule, albeit existent, chances of surmounting insurmountable odds. 
from Vesna Vulovich's record-breaking survival to Julian Kipke's Jungle Odyssey, these stories carve out a peculiar yet fascinating niche in historical records. They are testimonies not to replicate, but to ponder over. And so, while surviving a fall from an airplane without a parachute lies heavily in the domain of near impossibility, these stories provide a rare and breathtaking glimpse into the extraordinary survival capabilities latent within the human spirit, revealing both the fragility and resilience of life in startlingly vivid detail.